in the corner, Cockrell back up top. Hahn from the wing for three. That is good. And UC Irvine breaks the seal with an early 3-0 lead. Leading scorer with about 13 points a game, and uh, he's scored a lot in his career. As a matter of fact, 22 career double-double scoring night, so you can expect him to get a lot of shots tonight. Saversaw spin move, nice pass to Bari underneath, off the glass and in, and Duquesne responds with their, their first field goal of the game. Took them four and a half minutes to do it, but they are indeed on the scoreboard. Handful of Duquesne players waiting to check in near the scoring table. And is Andre Henry driving the lane, right near past Bure and puts it in. UC Irvine extends that lead. Grant back to Barre in the post. Baseline pass to Saversoff and he couldn't put it in. And here come the Anteaters. Cockrell driving the lane. Tillis near the wing for three. That one's good. And UC Irvine converts in transition and they extend that lead to six. Remember they... Near the wing to Chavi Barre. Nice pass to Jimmy Clark, back door, off the glass, and good. And a foul in addition to that. UCI is with the ball. Meanwhile, UC Irvine's had a few check-ins of their own. Three-pointer there from near the corner. They're going to mark that as a two. But that was Darren Saran, who was also checked in, and he logs his first field goal of the game. He drama. He's going to bring it up the floor. Finds his brother, Hassan. Driving the lane on the right side, drop pass back inside, and that is David Dixon. And he cuts it to two. David Dixon has been giving him rim protection. Langston Redfield working it around in the corner. Here's Saren. Shot is good. Yeah, he, Excuse me, Darren Saran extends it to five again. He had 16 against Rice in the last outing already. Five double-digit scoring nights. He's a rookie. True freshman out of Turkey. He is impressive. You know who else is impressive? Day Day Grant. He's Duquesne's leading scorer, and he logs his first three-pointer of the game, and it's back to a two-point deficit. That's 19 of those now on the season. Inside, that's mm. that's Dean Keeler. Jimmy Clark off the baseline, underneath mm. Dixon. Spin move off the glass and in. Nice play there underneath. It's very under, obviously, out here in the East, people don't think that highly of him. Thorner converts all three free throw attempts for UC Irvine. Jimmy Clark driving the lane. His shot no good, but in the corner for three is Hassan Drame. He had the foul that led to the three, three free throws for Thorner, and he gets all three right back, and it's back to a two-point game. And Saran driving the lane, kicks it back up top. Another drive, spin mm. room near the, near the basket in the easy pass, and that was Dean Keeler. Cross court, kicking it back out. Another drop to the lane. Backdoor pass off the off the glass and in, and that was Darren Saran. Oh, Fury, you jog away. But they'll slow it up and set up half court. Three-pointer from the wing, and that's Andre Henry. And it's now a nine-point game as UCI is starting to stretch out here, Ellis. With Dixon in the post to Horonsky, back out to Rozier. Rozier for the short jumper, that's no good. And put back in! That was David Dixon. He went in and put it down with the one hand. Well, who's since checked out of the game. Here's a steal for Dixon. Gets it up in front. Jimmy Clark, Euro step off the glass and in. Jimmy Clark cuts it to seven. This last week or so, it was beyond just perimeter shooting. And I get the big guys playing well. Saversov who checked back in for three and from the wing, it's good. Andre Saversov cuts it to four. Or in that case, you get both somebody who scores from the wing and also gives here. Saversov driving off the glass, and no. that's good. Andre Saversov back to back field goals. Pointed out at the outset, considering the success. Pierre Cockrell. Had. Off the elbow, that's no good. Here comes Day Day Grant with the rebound, he's bringing it up the floor. Drame for three. That one's good, and Duquesne's got the lead. Fusini Drame. Just like that, Ellis. The Dukes bring it back. Saran. Driving down no. the lane, and in is Andre Henry, right as the shot clock expired. We're after that game uh, in Annapolis against the College of Charleston. Coach called him the best leader I've ever had. And he's, he's been impressed with his leadership ability since the moment he touched base here on the mm. bluff. And he just found Fasini Drame. 
So his ability as a leader and his ability as a passer pay off for Duquesne, and they take a 30 to 29 lead. In the corner, that's Darren Saran. It's knocked away from him. And Fusini Drame picks it up from the floor while sitting on the floor. Well, the Dramas have been everywhere tonight since they got in. Grant to Rozier, top of the key. That one's good. That's a three-pointer, and it's a four-point lead for the Dukes. Came in shooting 48% natural chemistry. What a shock. Uh, <laughs> that happens often with twins, right? Yeah, yeah. And you can see it without them even looking at each other. Backdoor pass there, and it's blocked, mm. but it's put back. That was Carter Welling. Six in a row. First road game east of the Mississippi this season. Justin Hahn driving off the glass, and that one's in, and just past the outstretched hand of David Dixon. And Ellis, you mentioned that Dixon's got three of Duquesne's four blocks already hey, in this game. Absolutely, absolutely. And I was, if, if, if the end eaters were to score, I was hopeful it'd be Hahn, because you've mentioned USC a couple of times. He had 25 against USC. Hey, they grant. He can, he can go for 20. We know that. Andre Henry back out. Carter Welling back to Henry. Eight in the shot clock. Henry driving, hand off to Cockrell, five to shoot, off the glass, no good. Rebounded by David Dixon. David Grant up the court to Rozier. Here comes Clark driving, short jumper, and that's good. And Duquesne stretches it to six. Just love how he composed his body right there, got still and just very soft. Coming back the other way, Whoa. it's Han, and that layup attempt's no good. Savrasov with the rebound. Grant to Rozier, Savrasov in the middle, and he slams it down! Andre Savrasov! In transition, and Duquesne's up by eight. Just like that. Here come the Dukes. It's Day Day Grant. Grant with the floater. That bounces and rolls in. And it's a 10 point lead for Duquesne. So far for UC Irvine. Driving the lane is Saran. Teardrop. And that goes in to cut it to eight. It's Andre Henry driving the lane, off the glass, and smooth sailing for the easy bucket. It's Fusini Drame. Clark back out to Rozier from the wing for three. That's good. And Kareem Rozier has made it a nine-point game. Jimmy Clark drives the lane for Duquesne. Hands off to Dixon. Dunk attempt, no good. Puts it back in. And if at first you don't succeed, do it with two hands. David Dixon makes it a nine-point game. I wonder if the rim is okay. <laughs> Shot attempt there no good by Hayden Welling. But offensive rebound for UC Irvine. It's Henry trying to find some space. 11 on the shot clock. Saran from the wing for three. That mm. one is good. And Darren Saran, he now has 12. I mean, I mean, these guys, I mean, Keith spent half that time out underneath the hoop. Sean. Savrasov for three. He, he extends it to nine, and that conversation that Ellis is talking about was between. Tim sent me, Tim Ben sent a, a, a video of an anteater, and I never want to see one the rest of my life. Tim is very thorough in his research, is yeah, he not? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not even working the game, and he's sending it. <laughs> Nice. Carter Welling goes baseline up and under for the layup. That cuts it to seven. Nice His controls for the Dukes. Hand off to Kareem Rozier. Rozier inside the lane, no good. Put back attempt by Dixon. Probably not the way he wanted it, but it still went in. And David Dixon once again. I'm really hopeful that that's going to be one of the things that uh, Coach talks about afterwards. It's Justin Tillis, or Devin Tillis, excuse me, missed that initial three attempt, but the rebound got worked back around to him, and he drove and. Made it on the second attempt, so it's now a seven-point game again. I mean, Dixon's almost at 19 minutes. And on the season, uh, I think he, you know, nowhere near that. Uh, yeah. 15 uh, is five minutes more than that. Three from the corner, Hassan Drame. And he stretches it back to 10. So Duquesne trying to create some separation here. Backdoor oh. pass, Tillis off the glass and in. Quick response from UCI. Man, they, that was gorgeous. One, I just don't throw a ball at us. <laughs> Rozier top of the key. That's offline. Savrasov the rebound and he puts it back in. Andre Savrasov. Had as often as he could. Day Day Grant. Clark Savrasov top of the key. That's true. 15 for Savrasov. 
and Duquesne's up by 11. The grad transfer from Georgia Southern continues to help Duquesne stretch out this lead. Andre Henry baseline. They kick it back out. Tillis, shot fake. Hahn for three. Carter Welling, nice job there on the offensive glass to tip that in. And UC Irvine cuts this back down to nine. Eversoft controlling now for Duquesne, kicks it back out. Grant, Jimmy Clark for three. That off the rim, no good. Carter Welling with the rebound for UC Irvine. They trail by nine with about three minutes to go here. Justin Hahn from the corner, that's good. Make it a six point game just that quick. 125 to go in regulation. UC Irvine trying to cut it to one possession here, and oh. Justin Hahn just did that. May have been looking for a foul, but all the same, he drains a three, and it's a three point game. Josh. And same fate with Dixon as he fails to convert the one and one. There, I mean, the results batteries committed all over the place. I mean, you know, not a criminal. And the first is good. And the second is good. There's a couple of bodies to the floor for Duquesne. Fouled by Andre Henry. He will shoot two and converts the first. That stretches it to a four-point game. 62 and a half at halftime. 12 <laughs> seconds to go. Pass inside. Nice. Keeler off the glass and in. That was a nice setup by Langston Redfield. So now they cut it to two. He's got it with 4.1 seconds remaining. And with the second, that. it is now a four-point game. Two massive free throws what a by the him. sophomore David Dixon from Memphis.